Ornate, intricate, cautiously meticulous, stained glass has filled our churches and imaginations with awe-inspiring visuals for millennia. But at Judson Studios, in a small neighborhood of Los Angeles, California, a new generation of artists are rethinking this ancient art form. Everybody, because stained glass is a thousand years old, has a connotation of what it is and where you see it. And it's always church, you know? Everybody's been in a church, whether it's growing up or going to Europe or and seeing the stained glass in the buildings, and it evokes a feeling. It evokes, it evokes a kind of an awe-inspiring thing. There's something about light coming through glass. And so I think there's this natural feeling that people have of almost a seriousness. What fusing does differently, I think, is it, it replaces a lot of the darkness with a lot of light and a lot of color. It's, it is an expansion of the palette. It's an expansion of the toolbox. Carrie uses a combination of glass crystals called frit and blistering kilns to melt glass into dazzling results. Without the rigidity of traditional stained glass, his work becomes more fluid and modern. So what really makes it look like a painting is, is the, the, um, the combination of the frit and the cut glass. This is a very rigid shape, but see if I take this and put it on there and soften that edge, suddenly now this thing is gonna go like that, feel like a brush stroke. And so it's just a case of building this whole thing up. By the time it's ready to go in the kiln, you've kind of lost your image. Um, and you know, another major difference between this and stained glass is that you're, you're working a lot on faith and trust in the sense that as you do this, you see less. And at some point, you just gotta take some chances. When you're painting on glass in general and stained glass, you've got your color all there. You're painting it, you can see exactly what you're doing. The more you paint, the more you see. And this, the more you put on there, the less you see. The fusing technique brings a whole new way of thinking to the process. What I really love about it is, is that, in essence, it forces you to let go of your own control. It forces you to trust nature and to trust whatever it is that happens while you're not in total control. Because there's also this force of gravity and heat that's working in the kiln, there's movement that happens that you can't plan or predict, but just like you can't plan or predict where a tree branch is gonna grow, it's just nature. Allowing nature to kind of take over and be part of the process is great and it's very rewarding and fulfilling. <laughs>